or a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Friday, November 23rd of 2018, and you're listening to episode 173 of the BCC Podcast. I am Ford, and here with me today is LQ. It finally happened. I've been waiting for almost when I gave in. Actually, wait. No, that could be referring to a few things now that I think about it. Um... (laughs) Well, yeah, one thing I did give in, in on, desire to the eat other thing I almost gave butter. in on, I was referring to the Ninjago picture specifically. But those whole sticks of butter, though. Whole you st- love eating them. Wait, I'm also what? here with Maluris. No, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, I had one of the most miserable days I can recollect in a while now. Oh, come on, now you, you got stuck like in traffic once. I didn't just get stuck in traffic, Ford. Did you? I went out Black Friday shopping. Oh, that so did nice. <laughs> like, sounds like a lot more fun than I had. Fun, Ford? I stayed inside fun? and did homework all day. Ford. And you want to know what I, I did I yesterday? You I stayed inside and did homework all day. And you want to know what I did the day before that? I went to school. This is your own life choices, Ford. Yes, it is. These choices are not being made for you. That is also true. But I am almost done my degree, so it's going to be worth it. I am here with, last but not least, Glenda. How are you? You guys are such optimists. You know that? I'm so really confused. Feel... When have I has everyone referred to me eating an entire stick of butter? I think that may have been a maze thing. That I was a maze thing. I, that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I'm confused. Why is this debated? I don't because know. Because I don't eat plain butter. Maybe you do and you, you just don't, don't tell you us. Eat, you eat plain peanut butter and I assume it's it's all the same So you do eat plain butter. Huh. Peanut there butter go, is an entree in and of itself. But it is also butter. This is Not true. exactly. Then do you count apple butter in the same? Yeah. Yes. Apple butter is good though. And it's not an entree. Apple butter is good, though. Peanut butter is apple better, butter is even though good. apple butter is good. There are a few peanut things butter than is peanut butter. poison to me. Ford, you should get know, some Ford. shots and rehabilitate yourself to experience no. the wonders of the universe. No. Which could either mean the allergist or drugs. Look, okay. And that's all the time Being we have to Thank you so much for watching. peanuts should not be the, the key to the secrets of the universe, okay? It is. No, it's, it's not. not. That it makes is. no I, I sense. I agree that it is, so. <laughs> that makes even I'm... less sense than you eating sticks of butter. I'm sorry to say, but I'm with Ford on this one. No, peanut butter is <laughs> no. one of the greatest things ever made. It's no, like, it's see, not. Peanuts yes, it are is. like such a weird thing. They taste like nuts, but they're actually not. Therefore, it's like it just gets you to start thinking... From the get You know, nuts are weird. They're basically wood that we eat. <laughs> yeah. Now you're wondering why it's the best thing ever made. You want to know what the real best thing ever made is? The wheel. Because without that, we wouldn't have, like, a ton of things. Um, well, then couldn't you say the same thing? I thought that thing? the best thing we ever made was Lego. No, that is also true. It, it's pretty good, <laughs> but it's like the apple butter to peanut butter. What? <laughs> so why? Look, look. They, okay. Just because Let's it's really good in its own right doesn't bush, mean there okay? aren't things that are better for it and that unlock the secrets of the universe. Okay, look. We've got some fresh new peanut butter. Peanut butter and Ninjago twenty nineteen set pictures. Yes, that is what I've been waiting for. So long have I waited for these set pictures ever since we got the rumors about what they were going to be and basically had no idea what that meant. And then I waited and waited and waited. And three days ago, I almost gave up. Yeah. But then two days ago, they came out. Or is it yesterday? What day yeah, is it? Yeah, I was it? giving you hints, too, and then they came out and it's like, uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, but, you, uh, but yeah. to be fair, I already had somewhat of an idea. Mm-hmm. So, actually, this is the best Ninjago wave we've had in a while. I think it's better than Hunted, Sons of Garmadon, or Hands of Time. And Put together? Yeah, probably. Honestly, though there's a lot of sets that I like a fair amount in those waves there haven't uh-huh. been any standout sets i mean to be fair hands of time was kind of you know kind of meh hands of time had some cool sets it, the um, uh darn um, dawn of iron doom was a really cool set i love the colors on it and the chest is, is really true. cool the samurai xvl is one of my favorite ninjago vehicles though it's not that what exciting was the biggest it's very solid of that wave it wasn't dawn it was of the iron doom, was uh, it? the uh, dual dragon Thing. I don't remember. Oh things. right, I almost forgot about that. But yeah, I, I didn't get that one. I don't care for it to do this day. And also uh-huh. the, uh, the Shadow of the Bounty, I really like too. Oh yeah, way. the Destiny Sons Shadow of Garmadon. Cool. Same way. There's some sets that I really like, like the Temple of Resurrection and uh, the Ninja DBX. Those are both really cool sets, and I like them a lot. But they're mm-hmm. not the best sets ever. One of them has an Akimu minifigure. What? What? The DBX? What? <laughs> doesn't doesn't Samurai X in that one? Oh, you're that's the or Samurai no, not X. that one. I mean the uh, the one from Hands of Time. Yeah, that one. Okay, Samurai oh, X one. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a Kimu looking. That's still it one of my favorite like... Ninjago minifigures. Actually, is that version of Samurai X? Really? The newer <laughs> one is much uglier. <laughs> ah, because they add like two more colors into its color scheme, and it's just a mess. Before you had okay. the black and gold and blue together, and those colors go so well together, it's awesome. And then you add red and white into the color scheme. It's like, uh, too much. It's starting to look yeah. like a bad mock. But <laughs> I suppose we should start with, I guess, what's the first set on the list? Ah, uh, uh, yes. So, um, uh, let's save the spinjitsu for last, actually, because that's like a conversation in its own right. Okay. And Just Too Good talked about the prices for these, but none of the places that report on them, like Brick Fan or Brick Set, have their prices listed, so... Yeah, I'm surprised about that. I'm guessing Just but... Too Good has some info that may have not been specifically stated that they are allowed to release, so we're just going to speculate for now, just in case, All right. on what the prices will be. But the first one is the Samurai X Mech, and actually, I have a lot to say about this set... It's like a, a 15 to 20 dollar set. Which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Because Ninjago has sucked in the small set department for years. <laughs> but this wave has some really great small sets, which makes me really excited, and they're going to get a lot more money out of me because of it. Okay, then. <laughs> so this is set is obviously a remake of the Season 2, or Season 1, Wave 2 set, um... The Samurai X mech. It right. is very scaled down, so it really makes it just a unique set in its own right. It really just pays homage to the original set more than being a remake of it. I mean, it's it's a pretty cool mech, I think. Especially Aren't since it's like um, small. Where? Uh, the patterning on the mech? On like the oh yeah, the shoulders and, and yeah, shoulders and torso. It Those probably like... is on the chest too. The original Samurai X Mech also had a sticker on the chest. And uh, you know what? Again, one of the reasons I hate stickers too. So that tile actually broke on the original Samurai X Mech, and now really? it just looks really dumb because of how the sticker hangs off of it. Oh wow! <laughs> you could just cut the sticker. But then it would look really dumb because it has a cut sticker. <laughs> but it would, but it would also look kind of cool because picky. it's like you know, like a crack. Yeah, I would definitely you know, like say this damage. one is superior like to the original damage. Samurai X Mech, which is actually like the Samurai X Mech is one of the first modern Lego mechs. It's kind it of a true. landmark yeah. set in its own right, and I still I mean, really like. You this could set also, this you know, just be logical and replace the piece and re- then it wouldn't have the sticker. the sticker. Put the sticker. You can't. It'll rip like, if you try to take it off. It off. Oh, is it like the old sticker material? I don't know. Okay. I didn't know there was different sticker materials. I yes. think it's like they yeah, at su- at some point they now. made like more papery type of stickers. The ones they make now are like 
kind of like I mean, it's still sleek and, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's still I think plasticized. So yeah, it might it might still be that papery material that they used to use. I'm not sure. It's a sticker. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, though, there's a lot to talk about with this set outside of that. Like I said, it's. If we compare it to the old mech, the old mech, I still think, again, is a much better set. It's way bigger. Uh, does anyone have the retail price for the original mech on hand? Uh, let me on hand? So. No, but I can get yeah, it to you. Yeah, keep it in a little slip with my wallet with me at um, all times. I think the old one was like around $40. 30 to 40 Let's see here. This one is probably going to be 15 it I hope it's no more than $50. Okay. Time of release. So this is way smaller, and again, it looks really cool for a small set. Also, three exclusive minifigures, yes, and I can't yeah. stress how great a thing. Oh, I'm posting these pictures in the wrong channel. I just noticed. Nice. You're anyway, I can't pictures. stress how great it is that they have exclusive minifigures in this small sets because the last few waves, the small sets had a abysmal minifigure selection. Not only being minifigures to get in other sets. But scaled down versions of the minifigures often lacking shoulder and head gear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, which really isn't fair to people who are just trying to collect minifigures, but maybe that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, they, it get, it actually, I think it loses them money too, because then there's no reason to get both sets. And then you have, like, the, yeah. the smaller sets that just don't make any sense. Like, Sons of Garmadon, the smallest set was a boat for Kai? Okay, that one is a better one. That wasn't really a small set, though. Wasn't that at least $25? I think it was at least 20 or 25 but the concept just doesn't make sense. Like, Yeah, I wouldn't... I'm talking about, like, in the, the $15 fire to $20 ninja. range. Why would so. you give him a boat? <laughs> I'm just gonna say... And it was only right used once in the show, so, like, there you go. Doesn't really help him much. Inferno and Brain Attack, I'm just saying. Yeah, that was that was stupider than the Kai submarine. It's actually you, you submarine in the show. It wasn't a boat. You mean breakout. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shoot. Dang, brain yeah. attack though. For he was like full I'm on. I'm sorry, I was thinking of the wrong person in brain attack. He was full on Dark Knight, but not like Batman, you know. Alright. So. Right, okay. But speaking of the minifigures, we have a new version of Samurai X, which is actually, you know, kind of an interesting thing to get this stage in the game. Samurai X as Nia has been out of the game for so long. I'm interested to see if this will have the double-sided head, you know, with the mask like some of the other later renditions of Samurai X. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. I don't, I don't know. I, I doubt it. Because it looks like the movie head. Yeah, it's definitely, certainly the movie head. Which is yeah. really strange. It's no, no I mean, like, I've seen close-up images of it, and it's, okay. it's the movie head. <laughs> so it's literally just the movie head. It's not. I think it might just be that one but it I could be know. the movie head with a double print it's possible i mean this set picture is usually would show a double print but we don't yeah we see. don't have the complete set pictures yet because these these are technically still leaked pictures i believe but lego said people could talk about them mm. yeah. well they don't have war marks on them so yeah okay yeah no one is giving credit to the leaker for good reason I think it might even see him foresight. <laughs> Are you giving someone credit? Look, I'm not. I don't, don't report on. Leaks. Big Brother's gonna go after him now. Way to go! All right, so they're gonna come after us too. But there, there is one thing that was incredibly <laughs> jarring in this set, and that was we have two things. Oh, here we go. Rebooted versions of uh, Knuckle and Cruncha <laughs> from the <laughs> anime. <laughs> okay. Now, at first, if you're like four and you don't remember what they looked at, they, you might not see a big deal because they're not bad skeleton at? minifigures in themselves at all. Now, take a look at the original version of Knuckle and Cruncha. Oh. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so they, weird. they are near unrecognizable. So they went from bulky skeleton to, uh, to osteoporosis has set in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up now. That's the heads, essentially what happened. The heads, they still do have their um, eye pieces. I, th I can't tell if Crunch has the monocle, actually, from this I angle. I mean, to be fair, um, it has technically like been, it. like, eight years, not only in real time, but, like, in-universe. Yeah, that is true, but 
I'll get to that in just a bit. Yeah. So now they now they do have like similar headgear. Um, Cruncha still has the helmet, though it is in black instead of gray now. It, I noticed this helmet is only being produced in black now for some reason. No longer in silver yeah, in any weird. set, which I find kind of odd that they couldn't make it in gray or silver anymore. Yeah, do we know why that is, or is it just I, there? I don't know why that is, no. Because Garmadon, we'll see later, also has silver, his helmet, which, which was traditionally in silver, in black instead. Yeah, didn't they make that same helmet for Karloff? Yes, Karloff had it in black. I think he was the first oh, one did, to have okay. it in black. Samurai X may have had it before him in black. Because at some point, sure Samurai X switched from the gunmetal helmet to a black yeah, helmet. Yeah, Samurai X had it in gunmetal, actually. Yep, until, yeah. I think, it, Tournament of Elements or Possession. It's possible. One of the one of them had the other, because there's two Tell versions of the, you know, the one with the green chest print, one with the gunmetal, and one with the black helmet. Hmm. Huh. Weird. So, yeah, I can't see his face. The, the new head mold... And get that's the big thing. These all, skeletons all have the same head mold now, well as the older skeleton generals all have a unique head mold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this new head mold, there's some cool things about it. You can put headgear on it now. However, <laughs> when we get over to Knuckle, <laughs> oh, Rock Knuckle on. used to have spikes along his head, which are obviously representing a mohawk. Yes. Now he has a literal mohawk. That's disturbing. <laughs> also, they um, lack their armor completely. Yes. <laughs> Which is also disturbing. Knuckle had the same armor as like the uh, lower rank skeletons, and then Cruncha yeah. had much bulkier armor. Yes, people, we have naked skeletons on the Yes, premises. now they have no armor. Not only that, but they are lacking the boot skeletal pieces, which I think LEGO is still making, unless they discontinued it this year, because Nexonites used that same piece. Yeah, for the robots. Did. And actually, yeah. Sons of Garmadon, I think, used that piece, too, in, like, one yes. of the stands. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know why they wouldn't use it, because they just look so much... Actually, I think they probably would look a lot better just with those feet. Now, to be yeah, fair, they would look the old bit. skeleton feet and arm broke incredibly easily. Maybe that's why they changed it. It could be. But, though, like I said, what was strange is that I mean, that I've old gotten piece the lasted so the, long... Uh, I've gotten the ones from the Squire bots, and they haven't broken on me. They might be better, because, you know, They're like two, around 2010, Lego was having ankles, a lot of issues with breaking it. minifigure pieces, and they kind of stepped it up. Hmm. Who knows? Uh, yeah, so basically, you've stripped off their boots, their armor, and, like, the bulk of their headgear. They just Basically, really they're defining lanky. features. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, they still have defining features, still. They're not unrecognizable. I suppose. But like, it just looks like they've hit really hard you. times. <laughs> yeah. And it's also interesting that they're bringing them back with this set because they never came in contact with the Samurai X mech. Hmm. Gotta put them somewhere. Anyone so, else have any thoughts on this? I mean, I like the little set. It's It's cool, I guess. You know, just, I'm not going to say why, but... As a mech. I'm not going to say why, but I was looking through pictures of skulls earlier, and I saw this aesthetic of a skull with a mohawk made out of bullet shells, and I'm wondering if that's what they were trying to do well, for the mohawk here. Originally, like I said, it was obviously the spikes on them yeah, representing a yeah. mohawk. Cause, you know, spikes the skull well, yes, color but I just weird. noticed that they look suspiciously like bullets. They are the same color now, as the old spikes, though. Yeah, and the new one is obviously just we. Oh, you mean the old one? If they're so. St- I mean the old one. Because uh, the old one is more like maybe I'm not sure. Spikes. It's possible. Yeah, aesthetic, Orion. This goes out to you. Yes. Even though you never listen to the podcast. Wherever you may be. All right, so let's move on to the next set. Okay. Uh, the the golden dragon, another one of the ones that I actually the samurai X mech wasn't on that original rumored list, was it? I don't know. I know this I one know. was. I wasn't though. looking on the rumored set. You said you were looking on the rumored set list. No, I said I was not looking at that because I didn't want to get spoiled on it. Weren't you on that podcast? Was I? I thought Maybe you were. I was. All right. Man, so I don't remember. 
few interesting things about this one. We'll start by talking about the set. Um, first off, entirely new mold for the head. Based, uh, I think this one's made out of hard plastic from the looks of it instead of the rubbery plastic from before. It's also a much smaller head and it shoots studs instead of the Zamor spears. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I really like this head design. I'm all right Honestly, with it. Yeah. To be honest, this is the only set which I can say is a significant downgrade from the original. You sure? It's not, I don't know, it's not really a, a bad, I, I wouldn't say a downgrade, I'd just say like a downscale. Okay, well there's a couple other things I have issue with it. Darn it, I'm moving the wrong thing on the overlay. Alright, so here's a picture of the original. Yes. Yeah, here's a picture of the original. Well, what do you notice? A big difference on the wings between the original and the new one. Did I not post the new one in our chat? You did not. You did not. All right. So yeah, compare the wings and tell me what you see. Dark? Um, hmm. The, the wings, wings seem actually to be have a build. Much smaller. <laughs> The wings, see, yeah, the wings are much smaller for one. The second one, the wings... The coloration is different. Yeah, it's definitely different. One thing, yeah, like Ford mentioned, oh, yeah. they're much smaller, and they hardly look like wings on the new one, in my opinion. <laughs> You're not that the old blade wing design wasn't the best, but I think it did a better job. And another thing, the new one has something the old one didn't. Stickers. Oh, yeah. What do you know? <laughs> Uh, I'm not happy with that. Just to add the gold. <laughs> that kind of stinks. I'm not sure why they didn't I, just I, I use a gold I kind of like piece. the whole thing with the stud shooter in the mouth. It's not I as prefer the Zamor Sphere the... personally, but it's not a big deal to me. Yeah, it's not as obtrusive looking as the, uh, the Zamor Sphere. But, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, the banner is new. It's something that wasn't... I don't know why they didn't just include a green flag like they did on the original dragon... And that's all for notable differences. Like I said, it's a much smaller again, so I can't fault it too much. But I feel like, actually, can someone look up the price on the original Golden Dragon? The original was yeah, okay. at $30. Shoot, I'm too slow. Oh, wow. All right, and this one is probably going to be around 20 Hmm. I'm guessing. We have a new version of Golden Lloyd, which I'm like 90% sure this is going to be totally non-canon. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, yeah, we will see. It's possible. I don't know how they are going to work. If these oh, are actually yeah. going to, and we also got a new version of the overlord. Yes, I was uh, saving that I mean, for overlord. last because this is the absolute crown jewel of this set, and probably the wave. Low key, uh, the first time that uh, LQ was going over these, he accidentally spelled overlord in the chat. We're going to keep that one forever. All oh, right. Well, just anyway, for... <laughs> also interesting thing about the Stone Army guy. I just noticed it uses the new Ninjago movie straw hat as opposed to the old flatter straw oh, hat. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. So that's that's kind of weird though, because it doesn't fit in with the Stone Army guys as much. Yeah. So interesting thing about the Overlord. This is probably supposed to represent like the in between Metamorphosis Garmadon of season two, something we never got a minifigure of, and it's actually kind of disappointing because we didn't get an Overlord minifigure until season three, Battle for Ninjago City. But this is an awesome minifigure. It's not at all show accurate, like not at all. There, I don't even. The gold shouldn't be there, and he never had like the swirling tail really, but he did have the forearms. But I don't care because it looks fantastic. Honestly, okay. yeah. I don't even care who it is. This is a fantastic minifigure. It's so it's much so like the Maelstrom. Cool. Yes, I was going to say, as you said before. Kevin, you remember like, you those guys from, um, uh, darn it, not Advent Gardens, the Ninja Place. What was it called? The, uh, dang it, now I've forgotten. Something uh, forbidden... Garden. No, not Garden. Forbidden Valley. Yeah. Remember those guys that had, like, these swirly purple tails with the swords? Were they the Ronin or something like that? I don't remember. Does he have a skull face? I can't get a good look at his face yet. I'm hoping. Yeah, the only look on his face is a side angle, but it looks a little like a skeleton head. It's it's actually wasn't Ronin a class? I think it's a transparent head. I've Mm, seen maybe 
Let me see if I can find a close-up picture. Oh, no, 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 no. yeah, it is the Ronin, I think. Let's see. Um, Here, I uh, this will take too long to put in the podcast. So if yeah, you can, just yeah, it is. It the uh, yeah, dark yeah, Ronin. Want. I want to mo- You can mock one of these with this new tail piece. Oh, yeah, you can. What do you know? Except we don't have the sword piece in transparent purple or, you know, like violet. Either one would do. We need to get it because otherwise we have all the pieces to make it. We have that transparent head from the <laughs> Master of Smoke set. Oh, and then yeah, we have right. the helmet and the armor. And we're so close to being able to build it. <laughs> and yeah, that. anyway, though, this is really cool. I am going to get this set just for the minifigure. <laughs> Because I already own the original gold dragon, but minifigure spreads pretty good. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyone else have any thoughts? I mean, it's certainly more Man, interesting. Man, I like Lego Universe in terms of the characters <laughs> than than the original set. Yeah, and that is it. Actually, so. is better with the you know hero versus villain. Though it would have been really cool to get an Overlord Dragon set. Eh. This is what it is. It would have been cool because that's something important that we never got in Ninjago. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up, we have Kai's Blade Cycle and Zane's Snowmobile. Interesting compared to the leaked version of the set. This is one set instead of two. Ooh. Mm. So, yeah, so this actually combines two older sets, both from Season 2 from the Golden Weapon Vehicles line of sets. Now, I owned the Kai's Blade Cycle originally. I did not own the Zane Snowmobile because it came with a Serpentine vehicle, and I was never a fan of the Serpentine vehicles. <laughs> Which is strange, because I hear a lot of, like, A-Falls talk about how those are the only thing in Ninjago they ever liked. I mean, they're certainly creative, the way they're constructed Ish. and all that. <laughs> so, um, I'm. Which one do you want to talk about first, the blade cycle or the snowmobile? Yes, one of them. <laughs> Anyone have snowmobile a snowmobile? Is a very, very misleading title. Well, it's a snowmobile. I came on expecting a zamboni. I want my money back. Well, <laughs> a zamboni isn't a snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> it almost is, though. No. No, you guys know what real snowmobiles look like? Not as well, I don't live in Canada, so. Well, they're a thing here. See? <laughs> yes, guess where you live. <laughs> yeah, look, here's a picture Almost of an Canada. actual <laughs> snowmobile. You live in Canada a little to the south. I mean, South at least Canada. if the apocalypse happens, he Wait, doesn't have Mal, to travel for... Mal, you know what a snowmobile looks 40. like, right? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, I do. Oh, I always thought of that as a snow cycle. No, nope, that's a snowmobile. A Zamboni is a Zamboni. This is a snowmobile. <laughs> it is certainly not a jet ski. It kind of is a jet oh. ski. <laughs> but for I snow... I mean, it traverses across know water, what, you know? All these words for you northerners. Jet ski isn't a northern word. <laughs> if you say so. No, you use jet skis on the water in the warm places. That's where Leo disappears to in the summer. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. North Canada. North? Whatever. Um, so <laughs> I also don't know what a direction is. Yes. <laughs> so something I know is interesting know. about this. Apparently, they no longer produce that transparent uh, icy slope piece. Oh, really? This had a special texture on it. They used it. I believe they used it in the Zane Ice Dragon set in Wave One as well. Oh wow! So that is a big okay. difference between this and the newer one. Is they totally actually? Oh wait, no, that same piece is in there. It's just not in transparent blue. It's in yeah, white. Yeah, it's in white. Eh, it is what it is. I mean, so, the transparent blue one looks pretty cool. It is a cool piece. Yeah. It's a very cool piece. So, I don't really know which one of these is better, honestly. I feel like the new one looks a bit more generic, but it's not bad. The new one actually utilizes a ski on the front, too. I don't... Yeah, the old one didn't really. It used kind of a wing piece. The new one does look better overall. It does. I feel it like looks they could have built the front robust. out better, though. 
It looks much more, you know, realized. Beefed up. Yeah. Yeah, and I can Upgrade. agree. I think the colors are better. Like, the color distribution is better on the original. This one uses a bit too much black. I mean, I mean, there's not much yeah. of the original there, so let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's not. Now, Kai's blade cycles went through a similar, rather large transformation. This one was certainly for the better. Kai's blade cycle, I own. It's one of my least favorite Ninjago motorcycles because it is really overly bulky for a motorcycle. The function hardly works. It tends to fall and, apart. And for something so, like, bulky... It's got so many huge, like, gaps in it. Yeah, that, well, that's because like, of the feature, which, like, it's not a bad set. Still, it's not one I'd ever display these days, but I, mm. it's not horrible, mostly. Still got some pretty ugly gaps, so, <laughs> compared to <laughs> the new one with, Again, with at same the same functionality. The, when Ninjago's first couple waves were really when, that was, like, the beginning of modern LEGO in my hmm. opinion. Like, a lot of these, you know, vehicles today that we're sick of seeing, their first iterations were back then. And now their newest iterations are now. Yep. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> also, I find it funny how the new Blade Cycle has more blades on it than the original Blade Cycle. Does it have more? It looks like it does. It they They're definitely more apparent on the new one. On the old one, it's like, just like the new one. Bulk. Honestly, it more represent it more resembles newer Kai motorcycles in general than the original that blade. Is true. Also, again, it has more black on it, which the original one hardly featured any black. This one's kind of like almost the dominant color because the way it goes through the middle, it makes you think that black is the main color with the red on the outside. Especially since there's a sticker slapped on that. I can't tell if there's a function on this newer one. Yeah, there there is. Uh, are you looking at the uh, other set pictures? <laughs> There's only one, at least on this article I'm looking at. I completely clicked on a different article than you. I guess. Are you? I'm on Brickset. <laughs> yeah, um, Brick Fan. Okay, you're on. Uh, yeah, Brick Fan did have more. I think. Let me go there. <laughs> yeah. uh, here's a picture and kind of give you an idea. Yeah. In the chat. But yeah, it, it splits up. Like yep. People. It's uh, certainly much more, you know, okay. cohesive mm, than the It's original, a little kind of ugly when it I splits feel. up, to be honest, and I don't know what the practical purpose <laughs> of that is. It's to shank people. It's not practical, it's to kill people, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's to shank people. Well, that's a practical purpose. You gotta kill him. <laughs> so, also, um, I'm not sure if these Serpentine are new prints or not. Now, these two, I believe, are the two of them that have come in Junior sets before. However, they're not the same prints because the Junior set ones have um, burnt orange sleeves on them. Oh. Hmm. Which are actually fairly cool minifigures. I guess it's also worth noting that the Golden Weapons are back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense because these are supposedly based, you know, supposed to take place in the season two or <laughs> one era. Oh, yeah. And I also know what those, um, you know how each of them comes with like these weird stick things? Yeah. Yeah. They're so you can actually like do spinjitsu with the characters, but not have to use spinners. Like what? if you look at the back of the box, you'll see how it looks. If you look really closely. Does it spin? Oh. So it's like a oh, wheel, and you kind of like put the figure on it, and then you glide it across the ground, and it spins them. That's weird. That is it's a really pretty basic weird. function. Yeah, I understand how it works. It's just weird that it's suddenly a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not the first time I've seen this kind of thing before, so. It's, it's not also not new very attractive looking. <laughs> just a thing you can do. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the side builds in this set are very worthless. Got a st single street lamp, uh, some kind of cultic altar, and some dynamite. A cultic altar. Well, it's not a regular <laughs> altar, obviously. <laughs> it's got snakes on it. I see. So it's not like a satanic or, or you know, 
Colt, same difference, really. So, yeah. I'm trying to find the... I somehow got stuck in the Technic section, because those came out... All of the sets came out at once, because LEGO lifted the embargo, and we can't talk about them all at once, though, because this is going to take up the entire episode, I can tell at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there, there was go. another thing we could talk about, but it's not getting set till summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, they do have way more pictures on the brick fan now that I'm seeing it. By the way, I, I don't have time to get the picture into this the video if we're going to move through all these, but the box art for these is really cool, too. Yes. Yes. Very nice. They're all branded under Ninjago Legacy. And they each in the like back, they have like the these little clips and... showing from the show. Yeah, yeah. The functions are really good, though. I like those. Very playable. I couldn't care less about the functions. Of course <laughs> not. Anyone else have any thoughts on this set? It's just kind of nah. running the mill. <laughs> you know, colors are good. Other than that, it doesn't really stand out. Yeah. Nah. That's All the best right. Word. And now it gets interesting. Wait, it wasn't interesting before? Well, now it gets really interesting. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the reboot of Jay's Storm Fighter. I'm actually posting to uh, our chat the original first, because I'm already in that file. <laughs> yes. Lanky. So so here's here's a stick, um, and and then here's its father, and it can be like, hey, hey, if you get both of these, because I know you have the one, the original... Uh, can can you do a don't talk to me or my son ever again picture when you get it? Because <laughs> this is what it is. This well. is like, yeah, <laughs> Stormfighter went on steroids. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of interesting stuff, but we're going to start with the build again compared to the original one, which I still actually think the original one's cool. It, it's like a very basic jet set. Now, the picture like, I yeah. posted... It's not as lanky when it's in its normal form. I mean, the original, to be fair, was only like, what, $20? I don't remember. You see, all of these came out really before I was the one buying sets for myself. Hmm. So, yeah, they were, when they pulled up, you know, it's just like a basic jet. It actually looks like a fairly realistic jet, too, originally. Uh, it was actually $25, but still oh, not bad. I see that much. That's not as lanky one. It's you know not spread out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was like the function. It was supposed to be like it opening up and shooting out lightning. So, but Shoot. still, the new one is way, way bulkier. Yeah, <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Now, what I, I know, I'm jumping ahead. Would I buy this one? Issue is, I just bought another really beefy. J vehicle which was from the ninjago movie <laughs> and that one takes up a lot of shelf space i still don't understand how that one's supposed to like work like is it a helicopter <laughs> or is it a jet i think it's like a hover jet yes that's just... okay <laughs> i honestly might buy this set i really like this one i do really like it too i really like how it looks again the it's only... a really appealing shape the only thing that would keep me is, can I really justify having two giant blue jets on my shelf? Yes. yes. Hang it from your ceiling. Can, can I justify having three components of a Hogwarts, even though there's only really two that work together? Yes. If you work hard enough, yes. Yes. <laughs> can I justify getting two of the Quidditch sets so I can make the full pitch? Yes. Mm. <laughs> now i i would almost hardly say this qualifies as the being the old set it's only the old set in name basically in the it's, old, this yeah. is really different from the set itself it must have uh, a maybe. missile function somewhere because it comes with an extra yeah, one yeah, yeah i believe again i think um so again it's much more playable than the original it does open up again i don't have that picture saved because i got all these pictures off brick set and brick fan posted more of them but Actually, might be able to. Yeah, it does open up like ah. the original. It retains that. Oh, cool. Ooh. That really is Someone nice. Else yeah, I might actually get this set if I can, too. Depends on the price. I from I think Just Too Good said it was like 40 That's not bad. It's 490 pieces. If all the prices he said are true, these Wait, are really 490 great 490 for $40? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a pretty decent one. 
That's not bad. So yeah, it's I, a little I, less than ten dollars or ten cents a piece. Actually, I'm gonna go and listen to what Just Too Good said again. You guys talk about it. Yeah. Okay. We um, can't talk about it if we don't know what it is. <laughs> now the price, the set. Oh, uh, well. I like they're bringing back the golden weapons again, and they're updating the looks of them. So that oh yeah, now, the nunchucks like, look how the nunchucks always should. Yeah, have yeah. Except they should. <laughs> shouldn't they have like, like not a gold chain, but like a light blue kind they of have, like, lightning oh, bolt? Yeah, you're right. In the show, in between them. Yeah, I the don't know why they they're doing this. Which bit. is strange because that chain piece does exist in light blue, doesn't it? It does. Uh, I, I think so. I know it exists in transparent green, Does transparent it? orange. So there's no reason it couldn't exist. I mean, in I know the longer chains do. I don't know about the short chains. Yeah, just too good says it's for it's forty. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, it's, yeah, it's good, a really actually. big set for forty. And I, I could maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. That's the gold swords that are flipping out, right? I um, can't tell if they're gold or copper. What? They look gold. Yeah, they're gold. They're, they're gold. Okay. gold. That must just be the yeah. background. Yeah. As they add the gold. This was, be, the, this was also the wave that really, like, made gold oversaturated in Lego. Yeah, thanks to Jago. <laughs> and, and, like, that became Lego's new me. way to separate the good guys and the bad guys was, do they have gold? Well, then they're oh, good. Yeah. Gold is good. Michael Phelps is the good guy. <laughs> and then the golden dragon came out. And it blew gold everything blue? away. Well, you know. Exception to every rule. Yeah, gold yeah. really isn't, you know, impressive anymore. <laughs> so I want a gold bag. Now, guy. something so far we haven't talked much about the minifigures yet. The, it's a pretty middle of the road variant, I think, except with one exception, and that's because she's the only one to break the mold too. Is Nia's is a really cool print. They finally get the balance of blue and red right. You think with her. Nia is cool? Hmm. I like a lot of the Nia minifigures. Oh yeah. Also, red's back. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that's is, worth mentioning. Yeah. Again, we don't know. I don't know if these sets will even relate to the show at all. So, I think I kind of think that they just decided, okay, now we get to do what we want to do, and I'm fine with that. But yeah, I don't think that that's a problem. They, they, these could very well be the designs that are going to be in the show for the next season, though. Which again, that it is cool. strange. I I did think that the gun metal for Nia being our main color is kind of boring. But the, the all dark red never made sense for water, so yeah, I would like to see, for me uh, you know, like the light blue being her primary color. Yeah, yeah. I still don't understand why that sort of magenta dark pink was her thing. Well, I think I that's that because she's... that was her original color, Samurai yeah. X. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, and Samurai X, and also then the fact that she's Kai's sister. That too. Then. I do. Then the, having her be partially red. I think makes yeah, using sense, more of the so. blue with the gun metal together. Are we would not be also better. going to mention Pythor? Yes, I was getting to that. Another Pythor. Oh, He's boy. glorious. This one is not the original Pythor that came with the Ultrasonic Raider. It is a Pythor that has a totally different underbelly. So this is an entirely new Pythor. Not in mold, in print. Sadly, okay. we do not get a new head mold, which would have been nice. Yeah. Give him a closed mouth, okay? He doesn't need to be. Yeah, that was you know... something that always annoyed me about. Yeah, Pythor he doesn't need to be scowling all the time. We I actually know he's originally full of thought himself, but seriously, that Pythor would have a movable jaw like Samukai had. Yeah, that would be cool. Make more too. sense. Also, yeah, I, I why can't that. we get a new Samukai? <laughs> They're done with because him. Because he's dead. Yeah. To be fair, right. the Samukai original Samukai is, is like news. the best Wave One minifigure. I guess so. Yeah, he is cool. Why Though I guess it, 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 I guess it's good that we didn't get another Samukai because he probably would have been just as underscaled as the other Skulkin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they wouldn't have done Baby it anime if Samukai. they used, didn't use his custom head mold. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like they got a shot of osteoporosis. Imagine what it would have done to him. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that Samukai is actually like one of the first forearm minifigures, along with Frenzy, I think. Uh, was Frenzy yeah, the very right. first forearm mm, minifigure? I no, I think Think's Frenzy fine. was the first. He was 2009. Yeah. Frenzy came out before, I know, but was he the very first? I think, I think so. so. Hmm. Though, oh, right. Grievous, I guess, would be the first. Oh, yeah. Oh, that I want to get technical uh, about it. That is, though Grievous didn't wrong. use a minifigure body, to be fair. That is true, but he still had four <laughs> arms. That is Still true. counts. And he is technically a minifigure. All right, next up is another one, which I really, really 
excited for, which is strange because I did not like the excited was based off of at all. This one is Cole's Earth Driller. You got the original one in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the original was just kind of like, eh, whatever. The original was cheap. Yeah, it was like, okay, <laughs> here's how we get coal. But then this new one is like, this Magma new hands. one. <laughs> they bulk it up. They make it sleeker, look way more complete. And they and, add a macro fig. And they also add the first the, four And not just macro any macro fig, fig, but a four-armed macro fig. This originally appeared like this is the first Stone Army uh, guy we ever saw on the show, too. Yeah. He's like in the museum, and the Venom gets on him, and he chases him around. And... <laughs> now, wasn't he gray in that? No, I'm pretty sure he was red. It, it, it's very possibly changed. Oh, they can't even get General Kozu's colors right between the waves, though. So yeah, because he was all originally all Kozu red. Kozu was even in this wave. Black. No, he's not. Just but stinks. I really don't care. Kozu's not that interesting. He's not. <laughs> also, I found out the other day. So I got the General Kozu minifigure from Day of the Departed. I didn't realize until now, though. But he had the wrong mouthpiece. You know that goes over his helmet. Really. He has, like, the Nia Samurai X one, and I realized the other day, you know, it's the one that's supposed to be one of the larger fins. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, now I need one of those pieces to actually get him right. Good luck with that. I did not notice it when I first bought it. To be fair, I'm, I'm sure that means the seller just didn't notice it either. I mean, it's so such I'm, a it's small fault. change. I mean, I don't think you're gay. <laughs> Anyone will think in their right minds, gee, <laughs> Less than okay, space. And also I'm scamming note, this again, kid. Nothing to confirm this. Just too good as said. This is going to be fifty. That's wow. fair. But it has eight hundred and fifty-seven pieces. Eight hundred fifty-seven. So I thought it would be like seventy. For and a I would be fifty dollars set. If this is a fifty dollars set, this is one of the greatest values ever. I'm not yeah, sure I believe it's that's $50 like. Set. Hang on, uh, I, I gotta calculate this. H- how many parts? Uh, we're in this. Uh, eight hundred and fifty-seven. Eight fifty-seven. That's like five point eight cents per part. Yeah, it's really good. That's wow. <laughs> also, it's really strange that they changed the scythe of Earth up so much. I don't think this one's actually an improvement. Yeah, they included no. the uh the little dragon help piece. Which is fine. Yeah, but the thing is, that one didn't have the dragon on the hilt. It had a dragon on the blade. In the oh, re- oh, yeah, you're right. So it would have been cool if they used that helmet and then, like, stuck, you know, like, the little fang piece in it and then put it on a clip. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it would have worked. I mean, like, I'll maybe... I'll mock one up for you to show you. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. It's kind of like the original where they used the kind of fang kind of piece yeah. for the blade. And then you use that, add the clip. Okay. I see how that works now. And they do make those in gold, too. The, the clip pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a lot yeah. of those. I've, I just got a bunch from getting Quidditch sets. So, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> see, um, I'm not a huge fan of that design at all, really. Mm-hmm. But the, the, I am the Earth Driller itself the looks way better than it really has any yeah, right like, actually, to be. Yeah, like, it's like a complete set now. <laughs> yeah. Like, the back on the original was just, like, non-existent. Yeah. But now it's, you know, now this one has it. I like that they're using the uh, the Jedi Starfighter, or Jedi Interceptor. Oh, is that the new canopy one? Canopy. Is that the, the new, new canopy one? piece? Is that what that is? Okay. Yeah, it's it's new, but it's I know they made a new set. canopy piece recently. Yeah, yeah it, it came out with, you know, the, the what's it called? Like, the, the mole, I mean, came out with the Jedi Interceptors. For okay, the when, when was that? That was 2005. Oh, wait, yeah. this mole came out in 2005? Yeah, the mole came out in 2005, but okay, so it's the not, print I thought there was is a new, new and, it's, and it kind of reflects the magma hands that he has, which is yeah. kind of cool. I like that. Oh, and they so, tipped... Yeah. I like how they tipped off the, uh, the drill... With the little unicorn. Yes, it's much thing. better than it was before. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And again, the drill doesn't look like it's just pasted on like the old one either. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the thing is the drill is the thing. Yes. Now, I'd have to look at the show again, but I believe this one's much more show accurate than the old one as well. Really? Hmm. All right. Uh, 
I want to look. Yeah, also, the first four macro so fig, first non-licensed macro fig. Yes, so. first non-licensed <laughs> macro fig. It's great. I love it. One thing that does disappoint me is I wish it would have came with the elemental blade, because I don't have coals, and it's the only one I don't have. Oh, really? Wow. It doesn't come with that. Mm-mm. It's kind of strange that it wouldn't. Yeah. No, well, of course of the they were going to do. Are in here. Yeah, Which of course strange, that piece, it, the elemental blade piece is used in this wave, just not for the <laughs> elemental blades. <laughs> Wait, no, he has a scythe in this one. Yeah, but that's not the elemental blade. If you look in the other one, the thing the stone army guy is like the, the holding sword, with the green maybe. with the brown core. Hmm. Do you see it? Okay. No, Man, do you Cole see it? Has it's gone in the original picture so of the many... original set. Cole has gone in through so many weird track. like okay. secondary co- color changes. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Also, the uh, the one of the stone warriors has the the red hat, like the new red hat. Yeah, it's strange because Wu still uses the old hat, but I mean, no it's one kind else of signature does. for Wu. They, they haven't discontinued that... both yet. I doubt they're ever going to. I think they're both fine. I... You know. Is that clock ever going to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a minute? I don't know. Is it done yet? I see what you did there. A minute. Wow. So yeah, if this one's $50, I'm definitely going to get it, because that's a, an amazing price for part ratio. Yeah. You good mini I can't spread. believe it. I'm thinking it's got to be at least 60 This is Which probably even the coolest then, coal like, vehicle ever Even made. if you make it like 60 or $70, it's still a pretty good deal for over 800 Yeah, parts. even 60 I don't. If Just Too Good said it's 50 I doubt it'll be higher than 60 Yeah, but even then, it's still a good deal for the for the... You know, it's still got a price per part under mm-hmm. ten, so that's good. Mm-hmm. All right, now for <laughs> the final set we have in this that we have now. From what I've heard, there are actually more sets. Yes, smaller coming. But there are more smaller. Oh, do we want to do the spinner as well? Oh yeah, we'll go. We'll come back to the spinner at the end. Yeah, no, the, there's not that. too much to talk about there. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Mm, maybe. Uh. <laughs> All right. Next up is the monastery. Set interesting for several reasons. We've never gotten the actual monastery in set form, despite its importance. I've also Until heard rumors from like some leaked trailer for the movie, TV movie coming out, that the uh-huh. monastery is going to be rebuilt. Well, that makes really? sense. I mean, They've why been, else I would mean, be getting nice. set? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Maybe, I, but again, a lot of the yeah. we don't know <laughs> what's going on here. Like it it's all. Very strange. I hope we get a trailer soon. Here's hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping so too. <laughs> I love how they have to preface on Twitter they don't know when it'll be coming out. If it's a movie, though, I want to wait until I can see it, you know, when it's actually on. Well, I mean, quality. of course they don't know when it's coming out. It's going on Cartoon Network. Zing. <laughs> can they not get mm-hmm. out of that contract and you know, like partner with Amazon or Just Netflix or Go with somewhere? Netflix at this rate. Just go with them and ditch Cartoon Network. They're dying. <laughs> Not really dying, but you know. Yeah, well, this they kill off every new show they get for because they love Teen Titans Go so much. To be fair, Teen Titans Go makes a lot of money. It does. <laughs> it does. If it works, just, you know, you do you. Now, to be fair to this set, it is an extremely good representation of the show. Like in the, especially like the upper part of it. Where you see the inside where like Wu sits in the roof and stuff. Where you see him just walking across the lot. Mm-hmm. Very good representation of the show. And where he sits for tea. I don't care for the set though. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> it just... I'm not a fan of facade sets. And this is very much a facade. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a better facade than... Yo, most yeah. facade sets. It's, it's a better, better facade than, the than like one. what we got before, <laughs> by far. It's better than the but... facade that was the first. <laughs> Another thing I don't like about it is we have all the same versions of the ninja plus two other figures, which means I want to see how much just too good said this one was. Probably a hundred. Just he said eighty. Really? Again, eighty. That's don't know. These prices very... sound a little too good to be true. I know, though it is a. Th- it's only a thousand pieces. Judging by Ninjago's price or part ratio, which has been amazing, I wouldn't see it being more than 90. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 90 is a weird bracket for like to put it at, so it might be 80. 
And if the other one's 50, that makes sense. Then we'd actually hit all the price brackets properly. So we'll see. But anyway. No, I don't remember. Oh, yes, the minifigures. The Wu, I cannot get a good enough look at, but it looks almost identical to the season one spinner version of Wu. With the black gi. Yeah, which is one of my favorite versions of Wu, actually. I love that version. But I cannot see... This is also the first old Wu we've gotten since the movie. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if they use the movie face print or the original face print. <laughs> at least they don't use a CGI model with the actual oh. mouth. <laughs> make a special minifigure head mold with an indented mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh dear. So, yeah, I don't know how exclusive... It, it, the print looks so strikingly similar to that. I'd almost wonder if it's just a reprint, but I can't see it well enough yet. And then the other exclusive to this one is Whiplash. Ah, yes. You may sing. A- Who's everyone Whiplash? Likes Whiplash, right? He's probably not even canon in the TV show. He has he only also undergone osteoporosis. <laughs> yeah. He's... And he also lost his shoes. And his armor. He's... You may remember a while back we had, it was someone like in the comments of Bricks, I think, called it Bob, a Star Wars Assault on Hoth, Bob and Tim's suicide mission on Ah, Hoth. yes, Brick Pal. And we were talking, this is, this is Whiplash's suicide mission on the monastery. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, you've got seven people inside this, which are, monastery and for some reason he's attacking it with a small dagger yes and, and and here's the thing the ninja all have their golden weapons and other weaponry mm-hmm. like really they have the fortress at, at the moment you also have two spinjitsu sticks like wh- what do you think you're gonna do man <laughs> so what i would have liked if this set was entirely rounded instead of being in two p- pieces and I actually would have liked to, if, you know, if, me, if this is only $80, I would have put another $20 into it. I think it could have been a much more amazing set. Mm-hmm. But, and from what I've heard, though, there is another set coming out for this, which is, like, the training grounds. There's supposed to be another few sets for this, apparently. I hope so. So, because currently there's not much for the training stuff in the middle, only one of those things, which I forget the name of. Yeah. I mean, I can give you a show accurate training. I can give you like a rough description. We'll wait of what it'll come out with, but yeah, we can wait. Oh, also, I'm noticing all of these on the boxes have a barcode on it where it says "appears in." So I wonder if you scan those and you get like a clip. That'd be cool. I assume so. Well, what else would the barcode be for, though? I don't know. Ding! Thank you for giving us your credit card information. Nice. Well, I did make a barcode once day. that once you scan it, I can, you know, access your webcams and microphones and stuff. Yes. You can use yeah, it to well, hack into Lego. In with your... <laughs> you know. Well, the thing is, first, I have to get you to disable your antivirus software. <laughs> use antivirus. Yes, please. All right, so that's all for the mainline sets, I and mean, we're already reaching the hour mark. Yeah. But, you know, we'll get, still give this last one significant discussion. Yes. We'll go a little um, bit longer. Spinners are coming back, however, Yay. the rumors failed us once again. Oh. It is not a classic Spinners. It is another variant of Spinners. Yes. This is a third variant Third, now? yes, I believe. If you're not counting any of the air jitsu, you know, and I'm dragons. Not. I'm not. I'm not. This one, no, actually, it has a new piece which actually looks like Spin Jitsu in the show. That is true. And I guess that's so why that's they made cool. It. It's a really cool feature. So and this set it, is is it Lloyd versus Garmadon? Yes. It, yeah, or it's Garmadon forearm versus. Garmadon. Interestingly, ve- different than in the show. I don't know about his printing. Again, it's too far away to see. However, two notable difference, like I mentioned earlier, the helmet in black, and also his upper body, while it was gray originally, is now in black, from what I can tell. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, now, um, from what I hear from Just Too Good, this one's $20. It's not hmm. terrible, I guess. When you compare it to the $15, $20 sets, though. I mean, yes, yeah. it's bad. 
I'll probably have but to get it because spinners, it's the only set that Carmine comes in. Because each one is usually ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. Though they don't come with trading cards, which is what made the original ones worth it. <laughs> you know, like a pack of trading cards is five dollars in itself. Well, now only the trader, the, yeah. the the trading cards only come in you know individual sets as tiles now. I so. miss the trading cards. Can I just I say know. that I find the uh, tornado thing cool now that they actually have? Yeah. They're actually coming in a yeah. I want to see the other variants for all the... But. Now, there. this is a double-edged sword here. Good thing about having them all individually is it's easy to get a ninja variant if you don't get all the sets. Bad thing, yeah. we don't get another cool variant for this binjutsu. Yeah. Well, I thought that would be good for you because now you don't have to, like, strain yourself to get all the sets. Except now I want all the <laughs> sets. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess, like, now it's also easier for you to get all the variants as well, because there's only These are better than the other air jitsu and spin jitsu things, though, as I can tell they'll be much easier to store, and that's my main reason for not buying mm -hmm. up all of those. Even though they're cheap, and I could have afforded them, I don't have room to store those huge chunks of plastic yeah. that can't even be used for mocking or anything. And also, still, Cyclone Do is still way cooler than air jitsu. Come on. Yeah, we're over that. It's still better. <laughs> Most of us are over that. Second deal. Yeah, this one I'm going to have to pick up just for the Garmadon version. Cause a forearm Garmadon never goes for less than like 10 or 15 on Bricklink. So That's not bad. Might like, as well pick it up. For you to get it, it here. Yeah. yeah, so I'll pick it up. I probably, probably not right away because I want to get these other smaller sets yeah, first. Also, this version of Lloyd only comes in the Monastery set aside from this. So, yeah, so I'd yeah, say this, this is set is pretty much like get it just do it yeah get it for those the other ninja let, let me look through these again how would i get so you get golden lloyd and the dragon set which i'm definitely going to get that set because yeah. as the overlord yeah. minifigure and that one will be expensive on its own overlord um the kai blade cycle and zane snowmobile now that's a 30 dollars set yes i yeah. i might get their spinners instead of the set i don't know if i like the set enough to get it or not, I haven't decided yet. I'll have to see the official price. Mm -hmm. It's just, I have a lot of Kai and Now, I know who is coming in the Spinjitsu, tr uh, you know, the dojo training set, the smaller one. I know who's going oh, to be in there's, it. Oh, there's, there, oh, there are certain Spinjitsu, like, actual Spinjitsu in it. No, I mean, well, there oh, might okay. be one of those sticks in it. I don't know yet. Oh, but, okay. No, no, I get what you mean. I get but you I know mean, who's no. going to be in that smaller set. All right. Do you want to know? I'll or... find out. Yeah, you, you'll well, find I'll out. Wait. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll get that one, but I... <sighs> Jay Stormfighter, I so want to. <laughs> but if you don't, cool if you don't manage to get it, you could still get the spinner and you could still, you know, have And Jay. also that Pythor tailed minifigures are always really expensive. Oh, I didn't mention this when we were talking about the Jay... Um, the Jet earlier. Ha ha. Pythor sadly does not come with the Anacondre staff, and this is the perfect opportunity to finally release it. Yeah, I mean he comes and with. And I'm pretty sure they still do make that mold. The they might have just discontinued it because it wasn't a junior set recently, though. Hmm, it's weird. But it does come with Pythor, Nia, and Jay, so that's a good spread of minifigures. I'm. It's storage is my issue with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I so mean, you could just have... give it to me. Well, then why would I buy it instead of buying the minifigures? You can get the minifigs. I can get the jet and everything. Well, but if you want to pay happy. for the jet portion of it, then sure. How much are you willing to part with it? $20? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I still might want the jet. I had to think I don't about know. that for if a second. I don't know. I'm totally tired. Bad. And I almost said 40, and I'm like, no, 20 it is. Also, we're back to Kai saturation in these sets. Yeah. Again, a Cole's Earth Driller. I think that's the only set besides the monastery you get Cole, and I'm going to get this one for the macro fig. Mm -hmm. Also, interesting, I just noticed the Stone Army has the red swords from Sons of Garmadon. Huh. So that's interesting. Oh, nice. So I at this point, I oh yeah, at that point actually, I wouldn't even need if I didn't get the Kai bike set. I wouldn't even need to get the Kai spinner to get Kai. I'd only need yeah. to get Zane. Yeah, you're right. So, 
Yeah, the only spinner I'd need to get if I didn't get the bikes then is the Zane one, and I'd have to get the Lloyd and Garbodon one, because that's basically exclusive minifigures. Yeah, you're right about that. Nice. Also, uh, no villain vehicles. Kind of stinks. That is something I've noticed within Jagger lately. The villain vehicles haven't been stellar in a long time. The last time, actually, the only time I can ever remember liking them was rebooted. I don't know. I thought, really? you know, this past wave was kind of cool with for Hunted. You know, the Diesel right. Knot was cool. I, I wouldn't consider it worth it for the price, at least not for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, I, I think the Diesel Knot is a cool vehicle. Not saying I would get it. You know. It doesn't not seem saying that you know though. I can find it in my area. I can never That's my find thing is, Ninjago I want some more vehicles that seem threatening mm-hmm. to the ninja. But oh, I will none say of them though, do. like the, the the Dragon Pit does look like a really cool playset. I, I don't, don't give like them that. So yeah, again, I want something that looks like it's threatening towards the ninja. And the last thing I can think of was like the Nindroid Mech Dragon and what's the other Mech one? There are the Nindroids had, uh, the Destructoid. Yeah, the Destructoid, which I'm, I still which was basically want that a tank set. with I'm arms. Sad I didn't get it. <laughs> Just saying. and, but yeah, I, the Ninja always get so many huge vehicles, and then in comparison, the villain vehicles kind of suck. I'd wish they'd put some more effort into the villains' vehicles. Yeah, I was um kind of talking with I think it was with you and Leo the other day. Why not just remake the Garmatron? The Garmatron would be a really cool one to remake. Yeah. That's another one I'm sad I didn't get. Same. <laughs> I actually did. I only got the Golden Dragon in that wave originally because I was depressed about Ninjago ending. Yeah, because <laughs> like you can still do the function where you can have like a projectile coming through it. Just I don't know, pair a bunch of those uh, you know, those new spring-loaded missiles with it. Have a blast. Literally. So, yeah, that was one other thought. We don't know what they're going to do for the summer wave yet. With how great these are, wouldn't it be cool if they did seasons three and four for the summer wave? Give us an Ultra Dragon already. That really would be cool. Like a real I, From what I've heard, dragon. Ultra Dragon is coming. Please. Oh, really? Please. Yeah, from what I've heard. I don't know for certain. But like, I don't buy Ninjago. Saying, I would get that, okay? I'd love to see the an Ultra Dragon that doesn't suck. Yes. Because <laughs> the original one's really bad. Don't load it with play gimmicks, don't please. Don't my Ultra Jack. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, you own that, don't you? I, I will you got a allow lot of big them. sets that year. You got, like, the Destiny Bounty and the Ultra Dragon. Nice. I didn't get the Destiny I thought bounty. you did get the Destiny Bounty. Mm, Were you? That was Leo. No. I think that Leo got Leo. the Destiny's Bounty. But I did get a lot of sets that year from Ninjago, technically, <laughs> so... So yeah, I I do think though if they're gonna redo the Ultra Dragon, they should kind of use the same. You know, it would be so cool if they did the reboot it. Dragon if they redid head. Battle for Ninjago City and made a macro fig of the Overlord. Ah, oh. just like in the show, it'd be perfect scale. That would be really cool. Oh, that would be awesome. You we should have a them... whole episode actually talking about what they would do for other seasons of Ninjago. Yeah, that would be great. I'd like that. <laughs> All right. We should probably wrap this up, because uh, it's getting late, and we're ten minutes over time. <laughs> yep, all right. Think so. So, thank you for listening to this episode of the BCC Podcast. If you have any thoughts on the Ninjago sets that we discussed today, please leave them in the comments below. Discussions on Star Wars, Minecraft, China, and more are coming in China. the following weeks. <laughs> I'm not sure if they'll take as long as this. I feel this is definitely what I was looking forward to most. We had a few other things that came out beforehand too, but we didn't discuss them. Also, I want to discuss my disappointment of Batman eventually. (laughs) DC superhero seems to be dead, and that disappoints me. That's not the only DC because I like dead heroes that aren't Batman too. (laughs) Yes. So I'm sad. But anyway, for Ford. Clenda. Aren't we going to thank our patrons? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, patrons. (laughs) Patrons. Come on, man. Thank you all for giving Orion money to eat. Except we don't give Orion that money. 
We don't. Also, be yeah. sure the to subscribe to The only time I gave him that money is like to get a microphone, which he still hasn't used. Be sure to subscribe <laughs> to BCC After Hours. We're posting some stuff there as well. Oh, yes, there's a lot of stuff coming, actually. I recorded, yes. like, eight videos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I've I got a new computer now, by the way, so expect more Let's Plays. Because they're not going to be a pain to record anymore because we're not going to have to jury rig it. Oh, you did get the new computer. Yeah, I told you, remember? Yes, you did. You just told me that you got the money for it. You didn't well, say that you Well, it was only on sale today purchase. for Black Friday. Nice. Yeah, but you never said that you actually purchased it. I posted it. a picture of it in chat. Yes. I've had a long day, man. Well, yes, I did get it. Though, I'm That's still nice. waiting on an adapter so I can hook up my monitor to it. Okay. I knew I will get the appropriate monitors for it once my bank account is, you know, at health. So, for Ford, Clenda, Malaris, and myself, LQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.